Welcome to Big Data on the Pros. Today with Michael Stack. Hello. Michael, can you introduce yourself and your pro? Yeah, sure. Um, <clears throat> I'm Michael Stack. I've um, been doing big data for a little while. Um, a little? A little while. Like a long while. A little while. I, think I know you. That, that's about as long as I know you, I'd say <laughs> yeah, I'm doing big data. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I car, I'm like a, the chair of the Apache HBase project. It doesn't mean much. It means like that you're the you're the fellow that does the stuff nobody else wants to do. That's <laughs> what I do. Like writing release notes. Or yeah, you know, someone lifts the carpet and they yeah. find something dirty, and somebody has to clean it up. Uh, yes, I've been doing I've been uh, doing Apache HBase for like six years, maybe. Yeah. That's a mature project now. I know. Um, yeah, it's been going on. It's been going on for a long time. Apache HBase is a, it's a sort of, it's been heavily inspired by Big Table, Google's Big pa Table paper. There's a few of them out there now. Um, but maybe we have, we've been around maybe the longest, I suppose. Yeah. And um, we try to do it, you know, open source, all, all school open source, you know, try and bring everybody in. So, we, you know, we have a pretty diverse community. We're sort of proud of it. We work hard at making making that happen. Mm -hmm. So um, I know there's, you know, I work at Cloudera, it's Hortonworks and Intel and Xiaomi and Salesforce. Well, and they all have like two or three committers all digging in, helping out, making, nice. pushing the project forward. So what are we going to drink tonight? Oh yeah, so I, I tried to find story? um I tried to find the beer that we were drinking the last time we were together. Okay. Because I thought it was which one? <laughs> it's I don't one, remember. Uh, it's the one. Um, uh, I, I think you maybe you told me or the bar the bartender told us this yeah. uh, the one good to use to drink. Yeah. Um, Did we had it at uh, the bar place with the five hundred beers at um, around your house? No. What's no, 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 no. It was. Um, I think we went to the Ger Schmitz, the German. Oh place yeah, yeah, then, yeah. So we had some beer there. And then Schmitz we went in San Francisco. Check it out. We had some beer there, and then we went up to the next place, yeah. just up the street, and we had the same beer. Yeah. Strangely, um, so I thought it would have been good to carry on. Yeah. Yeah. Great. I think you lost. You did, you got lost. You lost direction that night, if I remember. You really? didn't know which way was home. Oh yeah, yes. You made us. Yeah. Yes. You are, you're on the bike, and I'm like directed us in the wrong direction. Yeah. You were sitting yeah. on the. Yeah. You were sitting in the the, the on the the trailer thing on the front. Yeah. So you, you. So you're a big biker. A little bit, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. good for um, carrying the kids around. Yeah? yeah. I have a, a this old Dutch bike and, you know, it's, it's good. It's, got, it's heavy, so you can put the kids on the front <laughs> and take them to school and stuff like that. Well, not tonight. Tonight we will have a beer. All right, so anyway, um, there's a store nearby me. Um, it's called Healthy Spirits. Mm -hmm. and Healthy Spirits? Yeah. So I always okay. thought it was just, um, you can get... You can get um, Falafel and uh, hummus, homemade hummus, um, and and then there's a whole wall of beers, mostly Belgian stuff. So and it's been around for 15 years. So they had a um, they had a, they they sent their own barrels out. Oh wow! Uh, to a bunch of local breweries, and then um, they you know in celebration of their 15 years, they they made this one, and then I just got an old. Classic Belgian as well to have a nice. That's dangerous. The Belgians making strong beer. Yeah, I asked. So why don't we? Why don't we? Why don't we start with that? All right. Sure. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, wonderful. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Um, no, we should. We should keep that going. Okay. Yeah, it will. It will figure itself out. Did you come in the bike here? Yeah? No, car, car. I was okay. in, I was in um, at the Palo Alto Claudia office today. All right, um, we'll find something. No worries. Thank you. We'll make a little pool here. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Um, well, real life experience. So. 
you started at the Internet Archive. Well, you didn't start there, but what did you before the Internet Archive and, and how did you got into the whole thing? I used to work at Calabnia, which is this place where there was a bunch of Apache heads. Mm -hmm. They made it, they made this place and they just put together a bunch of Apache projects and uh, and they made a, and made a, you know, um, I suppose an engineering tool. Mm -hmm. For um, for you know doing like open source like development, so I worked there for quite a while, and then um, then I went to work at the Internet Archive, which which is a great place. Um, you know, all human knowledge, yeah, making it all together. available for free, so like you can't go wrong. So um, when I was there, I was working on an open source cr uh, web crawler, the uh, Heratrix, and um, and uh, I was also working on search. Yeah. The Internet Archive has the Wayback Machine where they, you know, they try to archive the web and make it searchable. So then I was trying to make that a full text search for that. But um, I was working on this and then um, Doug Cutting, you, you know Doug. Yeah. Um, Doug was working there too. He was... Um, At the Internet Archive? Yeah, he, he was, was he was consulting or something, right? That's right. So so we have really wonderful t-shirts and they are uh, easy to wash, so we just right, use that. <coughs> so he um, he was working on um, the Internet Archive used to build um, they crawl you know dot fr for the for right. Bibliothèque Nationale de France or they would um, crawl dot uh, uk for the English uh, British National Library. And then you take that to whole archive to archive the internet for them at a particular time, you know, yeah. maybe around a certain event. And then you would um, you would take that content that had been crawled, and then you would do build a full text search. So anyway, um, Doug was around, and he was sort of you know you were around at that time too. It's like there were he was I think Brewster gave him uh, a rack to play with, right? To to you know he was trying to. Do first versions of Hadoop, I suppose. He, uh, right. he was doing a big, a big trying to do like he, the idea was you press a button and then 100 million pages later um, the job would finish. <laughs> that was the idea. And, but so Booster gave him some racks. They were horrible racks. They were no EC, EC memory or anything. Right. But so anyway, these would be the first versions of Hadoop. So that, that was I was around for that. Doug moved on to Yahoo, and then I t kind of took over uh, his what he was doing, doing right. building these full text indexes with um, the original, I suppose, some of the first versions I had to. So, so, so you started on HBase, basically, in the Internet Archive. And how did oh, you know, I was, there was, there was discussions going on. Um, I it was started by the people at PowerSet. They started at some Google group or so. It would be Jim Kellerman and Chad Walters. Mm -hmm. um, they just kind of started this group, and I think people like uh, Doug from the Hypertable right. project, yeah. he showed mm -hmm. up. They were all talking about, like, how would you build a big table clone? Yeah. Um, so I was just following that stuff. I was interested. And then um, um, and then we had a kid, right? And I was working in a nonprofit, and, and it's not easy in San Francisco having a kid and nonprofit wages. So... I had to go get a real job, so <laughs> <coughs> so I I the the power set, which was where Chad and Jim worked. They they had a job description, and it seemed like you know somebody who knows open source crawler Heratrix and has done search and so I was like, oh, I think they I, wrote that for you basically. Right? I don't know, no, I don't know. <laughs> I talked to them, and then they said you can come and work on on, on this uh, this emergent data store. Cool. They built. They built. They wanted to build a data store because they were, uh, AWS had just launched. Yeah. Um, I was using AWS at the Internet Archive, the yeah. initial versions, and I remember p using AWS uh, trying to build search indexes, and um, they used to call me up and say, "Whatever you, you know, whatever you're doing, please stop." <laughs> and then, and then they gave me they gave me my own area, my own little area, yeah. so they could just watch what I was doing, so they could. Uh, nice. And then I found out there was another customer they had that was also having troubles, uh -huh. and it turned out to be PowerSet. So then, okay. so there was a lot of, um, a lot, we had a lot in common. So what, what, how, how did the first kind of generation of HBase architecture look like, and how did it progress over time? Yeah. Um, oh man, 
it was like, so the, you know, there was this discussions about Hage Base and then um, Mike Caffarella, mm -hmm. you know, he's working with Doug on Notch. Right. So he did a kind of drive by code drop of like 30. <laughs> drive by uh, code seriously, drop. Seriously, he just uh, 30 files and then he just kept. Then he just uh, was never heard from again. Yeah, and that, I'm sure that was in CVS and not, um, you know, not that nice, cool Git. I think it was repository. a tarball. Oh, even a tarball. So I think uh, he took nice. that, and uh, I think Doug, I think no, they, then I think Jim worked on it first. I think it was like even before my time, Jim worked on it and tried to make. I think you know, none, I think he came up with the name even H Base. Yeah, and then. Uh, and then uh, eventually it got into some kind of form, mm -hmm. and then and then uh, Doug checked it in as a con under the con they had, remember that crazy contrib mm -hmm. directory and how to yeah. where they had like everything everything else uh, everything else other people work on yeah yeah yeah, yeah. because what well, Hadoop was a was Hadoop a, a contrib on Lucene at one yeah. time was it, it yeah, yeah yeah well. Well, Natch was a country on the scene, then Natch was a uh, own, and then Hadoop was a country, and uh, yeah. So, yeah, no, so, uh, so it was like 30 files, and then uh, a load of it was missing, and um, I think this is, this is a problem, right? This is, it's open source, right? So, you know, there's, there's, there's mostly just there's like this, there's, there's two of us working on it, and we're trying to build a community, right? Mm -hmm. So it's... How do you do that? I mean, it seemed like there was a lot of interest in a big table clone. Mm -hmm. um, and I think even um, Chad, who was our manager, who made the space, who, had, who was silly enough to think that, you know, you could just do a, <clears throat> a trip around Soma in San Francisco and talk to a bunch of startups there and go like, hey, you know, all chip in a quarter or half an engineer and We'll we'll, we'll we'll get we'll, we'll get the data store that we need that we yeah. all need. Yeah, um, that was the intent. That was the hope. But um, mm -hmm. no, it's, so then it's all about building a community. I think you know. <clears throat> was that the most challenging part of the overall project? Yeah, I think so. I think that's. I I think it was. Um, that was. I I always thought that was the, that would be the measure of success or not. Mm -hmm. But you know we're, um, you know, when you look back on it, maybe you should have spent more time on Just code kidding. architecture. And <laughs> maybe some you people. know, yeah. So um, let's do a break here, and okay. then in our next episode, we will talk a little bit more about architecture and what you're working on uh, now, and like sure, the sure. next exciting things. Sure. So check back for the next episode.